Hello everyone, welcome to What If DXD vs React is Say from a Different Timeline Part 11. Before we start please go support Unison Skeeth 666 for writing that awesome fanfic. Now let's begin. Ep 45 showing the lowly around Kuo. Skeeth house living room. Scene showing Xcast that just came back from shopping spree with both Office and Lilith. Was completely spent feeling exhausted from being dressed up all day by the ladies and was shivering terrified from their experience. The office. They're scary. Lilith. Being dressed up are terrifying. Who knew? Hugging both of them I understand what you both feel shed a tear, remembering her previous experience of being dressed up by her mother and her retainer. The three of them decided to go to the fridge taking some desserts, they buy red get for free from the shopping complex, eating it to comfort themselves. Meanwhile on other side of the room where the males of Xcast are talking with each other, they say. My arms hurts putting some ice pack on both of his arms well it was worth it smile a bit, seeing his harem members was smiling from ear to ear after getting new dress. All some of other male of cast especially those that are married or have a girlfriend also in same condition like is safe from carrying shopping bags while also smiling seeing their spouse are happy from the shopping. Serzich. Chuckle your right little brother, can't blame them being excited like this all the clothes and things in that shopping mall was completely extraordinary. Azizel. Agreed and to think that we can get anything we want this time for free was even better. Michael. Nodding we should say thank you later to Skeeth Dono, Dono and Corbinic Dono for treating us. But everyone else are nodding in agreement, they say. Nodding eagerly yeah to think that they also have Goku-sama and Vegeta-sama clothes too. This is the best day in my life feeling elated while patting turtle school guy he's wearing right now like a fanboy. While everyone else sweat drop seeing Issei go into his fanboy mode again while remembering the time in that shopping mall. Where Issei literally make the shop that sell turtle school guy and Vegeta say an attire completely out of stock by taking all of it. Bali. Humph how childish of my rival are let out a snort before continue eating his ramen. Some of the male of Gx cast. Thinking like you're one to talk. While others roll their eyes with Volley's statement before giving him dry look remembering their time in the shopping mall where Volley literally go on rampage after seeing the Raymond section. Mini flashback start. Volley. With semi-crazed look after seeing Raymond section that was stretched for miles Raymond here I come e. But Volley literally rushing towards the Raymond section staying there for quite some time read. Several hours borderline the entire day before Albion and the sum of Xcast dragging him away after knocking him out while some sweating bullets, after seeing the accumulated bill from Volley spending spree, before feeling glad that everything they buy today was on Skeeth. Mini flashback end. With everyone continue talking with each other before the door suddenly open showing Skeeth and Corbinic before three of them go inside the room with everyone else greet three of them while expressing their gratefulness for treating them. Let out small whistle after checking the entire bill well you guys sure can't spend a all that cast rubbing back of their heads sheepishly hearing that, Skeeth. It's alright no harm done, waving the bill this not even enough make a dent on my wealth, only on minuscule amount. Horbinik. Yeah, having too much money was a hassle actually we actually forgot how much we actually have let out a shrug. They say. Well I think we shouldn't ask how much money all of you actually have, considering how massive the bill actually are. Serzich. Yeah the Gremory House resources would suffer heavily just by paying the entire bill. All those that know how wealthy Gremory House are nodding in agreement, Skeeth. So are all of you already eat. With Xcast said they already are making Skeeth chuckle well what are we waiting for, let's go continue watching the viewing then. With everyone head to towards the viewing room taking their own seat with Milikas do the honor using the remote starting the viewing, Skeeth. Oh, while waiting for the viewing to start, anyone can guess what difference that happened around this time between this world and your world. Well some of Xcast thinking about it before Issei giving his answer. Issei. Could it be since other me wasn't unconscious like me after I use Juggernaut Drive, they got some time to spend with Office. Meanwhile Asia start shuffling in her seat feeling guilty that because of her Issei end up using that form reducing his lifespan, while Issei noticed her discomfort before patting her head, reassuring her that it was okay, and his lifespan was already restored from Skeeth gesture. Horbinik. Yep as Issei said, this is what happened in meantime in this viewing, and the next viewing we would see later. Screen open. Two days later after the invasion on Underworld. Scene change Kuo Town. Scene showing Issei who was walking around the streets of Kuo holding Office hand who's currently licking an ice cream, showing her the scenery of Kuo, while Office currently wearing a new set of clothes. Instantly making many females of Xcast gushing how cute Office look in her new clothes. Mickey. Gushing seeing their interaction all with their adorable. Oru. Yup they are dear. But both of them taking out a camera before continuously taking pictures with everyone else chuckle seeing that while Issei let out an embers sigh before noticing that both Office and Lilith snuggling a little closer to him while pointing at the screen. Office. Can we dot dot go out around? Lilith. Like that too when we got home. Issei. 
Sure thing give thumbs up with a smile. Scene further showing that every aunts and grandmas that both Issei and Office encounter while walking around continuously gushing at how adorable Office are and giving her some sweets and pastries before going on their own way while waving at the duo. Well, both Office and Lilith eyes are shining with plans start formulating in their head after seeing how other Office easily get the sweets and pastries just by being cute. While others are chuckling knowing what both of them are thinking right now. After several while walking both of them arrive near an empty park with both of them sitting on a bench taking a rest. I say. So office, how's your opinion about Kuo? Notice that there's a trace of ice cream beside office mouth before wiping it with a handkerchief. Well some of X cast can't help let out an awe for the interaction. Office. For some reason she can't help but feel happy from the gesture before responding millimeters. It was. I say. Mundane. With her nodding making him chuckle well, you're right about that but it was pretty tranquil and quiet around here if you ignore the mundaneness right. Office. It is this town was pretty dull, but quiet I like it but it's not like my home frowning a bit feeling homesick, I say. Crouching in front of her while patting her head yeah, everyone would miss their own birthplace, I can't deny that but. Office. Looking up at him while tilting her head a bit, but. I say. Who said that you can't find a new home right? Office. Still looking down a bit feeling conflicted about his say words. I say. Well let me say this even if you manage to achieve your goal and retrieve back dimensional gap as your own do you think that you will ever truly get back your silence you desire? Office. Looking up at a say while her eyes narrow in confusion what do you mean by that? Well office also lean forward feeling curious about other essay words while others also pondering what he mean by that. Azizel. Hm I admit what other kid mean by that? Enemu? Guess we can just wait and see. Essay. Scratching back of his head before responding well, considering that other supernatural beings can casually come and go to dimensional gap causing ruckus, especially the cow's brigade you previously was the leader of. I don't think that you would truly get back the silence you wanted, considering those people would continue come inside the dimensional gap pestering you for your snakes am I right? While office mouth are gaping a bit in realization from his say words before she starts sulking from her lack of foresight. And the same thing also happened to office in the room before she start pouting feeling sad about it, while everyone else eyes are blinking a bit before realizing that other essay is right. Tannen. He's right if office would ever successfully drive away great red that probably could happen. How cow. Nodding yeah I can imagine that, from my experience many of them was drunk of power after consuming office snake so, they will continue pestering her non-stop, even if she was successful with her goal. Ollie. Rubbing forehead letting out small groan remembering his interaction with the rest of other cows brigade members, especially the old satan faction ya cow cow right, those people have nothing to do except being busybody you guys have no idea how long they keep pestering me let out long sigh still caressing his forehead while the rest of his team patting his back, Albion. With deadpan voice I can vouch for that, after knowing that Bali was Lucifer descendant plus being a long Inus user, people keep pestering him at least 50 times per day. Not counting when he's sleeping many female devils from old Satan faction members tried to sneak onto his bed when he's sleeping, trying to have their way with him, just for the sake of continuing the Lucifer bloodline Bali, literally sleep with one eyes open after that every time we're at the headquarters. But Bali let out small shiver remembering the times he nearly lost his chastity, while Lavinia's eyes are twitching irritated while trying to keep down her murderous intent, knowing that there's lots of hussies eyeing her, Virginia Cunt. All the rest of X cast especially the male ones, wins hearing that feeling pity towards Volley. They say. Ouch dot dot if it was previous me, I would be jealous but after get kidnapped here now I can't help, but pity you dude you have my condolences patting Volley back with Volley giving thankful nod towards Issei, while Selwinu Sugiota Takeda and Natsu also trying to ease his discomfort, making him chuckle for the gesture. Azizel. Yeah men or women getting graped in your sleep without your consent was totally sucks. But everyone else nodding in agreement before continue watching the viewing. Office. But I can just kill them every time they are pestering me. I say. Raise an eyebrow before responding would it truly solve the problem though? From my experience when fighting them when they are invading underworld they are persistent like a cockroach even, if you kill one the others would come next like the one that was following us. But this say suddenly getting up while brought his foot up before stomping it on the ground making a barrier covering the entire park. I say. Come out no need to hide anymore I know all of you are there no you sneaking around I can feel your intention a mile away. Suddenly countless amount of magicians from Cow's Brigade come out from their hiding place letting out small tch, before sneering at a say. Great red. Hm dot dot I can feel a good show coming but for some reason it would end instantly. Surzich. Yeah even I feel the same. Magician A. TCH damn brat, you're nothing but just a lowly human how did you sense us? Magician B. Yeah we already make sure that we already cover our magical energy, making no one unable to sense us. Magician you. Not even god class being can even sense us how. I say. 
Raise an eyebrow in disbelief before sighing seriously. Dot, dot for bunch of magicians that supposedly being an intellectual people did all of you trade your wisdom for intelligence, making all of you a dumbass even my idiot of a brother was more wise and intelligent than all of you, there's many ways to sense people that just covering their magical energy. Seriously how much of an idiot all of you can get? Narrator. Chuckle o burn. Well some of the audience watching the viewing can't help but snicker hearing other essay insult, essay. Well, other me is right though, there's many ways to sense people from what I learned till now, Azazel. Yep, guess being too focused with advancing their magic making them close-minded though. All the group of magicians can't help but grit their teeth in anger from the insult before one of them turned towards office. Magician J. Office Ama, please come back to Cow's Brigade we need you, Essay. With tone of disbelief excuse me. Did you have to word it that way you sounds like a lolican stalker who just found their object of obsession before going to do the unspeakable sighing while shaking his head disappointed whelp what do I expect from lolican's brigade, they are nothing but a lost cause, narrator. Uff, another burn, there's no way to recover from that one, while the room instantly booming with laughter from a say nickname towards cow's brigade, a say. Bahahahahaha <laughs> lolican's brigade ha 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 man other me was savage ha 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 Clutching his stomach from pain from laughing holy shit why, I don't think it that way. That was absolute gold ha 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 Not gonna lie no one can take cow's brigade seriously from now on if the nickname spread over the world ha 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 Damn this version of Issei of Issei was fire ha 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 The narrator comment also didn't help, his comment make it funnier ha 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 After laughing for several while before slowing down, everyone take a deep breath collecting themselves before continue watching while trying to hold back snicker when accidentally think about other essay nickname towards Cow's Brigade. All the group of magicians are bristled with anger before noticing that office shuffling closer towards essay hiding him before poking her head out cutely before giving the group of magicians a disgusted look. Office. Don't want a lolicans are bad essay and volley said all of you are lolicans so, I don't want to go back and essay also make a good food and, all of you lolicans would probably give me bad food if I go back so, I don't want to go back dot dot you lolicans brigade are bad people. Narrator. Ouch even in another burn and it was from our adorable lowly dragon goddess nonetheless so the burn was a critical hit wombo combo. Let just be said that the room was booming with laughter, again seeing that other office accidentally burning the magicians. Great red. Bahahahahaha <laughs> the chai be learning from the other two hatchlings this is bucking gold hahahahaha <laughs> Michael. Desperately holding back laughter even though he knows it was futile pfffi admit even all of us doesn't expect that other Afisama would say it like that, Mickey. Giggling is say I would normally be angry seeing that you accidentally teach office chan to say that but I let it pass knowing that those people deserve it, while well, say let out sigh of relief hearing that having managed to avoid the bullet, Auden. Grinning before brought out a box anyone up for a petition to change Cow's Brigade name to Lolican's Brigade or what other silly nickname it would get in the future. Well many start grinning before brought their hand up agreeing with Auden's suggestion. Bali. Oh, I'm in. Say. Who wouldn't that was absolutely awesome idea. Serzich. Same with me. Greg. Not gonna lie I like this kind of development. Albion. Agreed, those cows brigade deserve it after being an annoyance to us. Well Cow Cow and the rest of his team members breathe out sigh of relief, feeling glad that they wasn't part of cows brigade members anymore and can't help but pity their other self for their upcoming misfortune. Well Skeeth and Corbinick shaking their head feeling amused with Xcastantics. Magician B. That's a kill that bastard then we'll brought back that brat to the headquarters. But the rest of magicians chant a spell making countless amount of chain appear before wrapping around both Issei and Office, trapping both of them in place, before launching countless amount of magic spells towards Issei, in hopes to kill him. Narrator. Do a mock gasp oh no our protagonist and his companion are trapped by their enemies and was in trouble what should we do? Prepare some popcorn to watch them obliterate their enemies of course okay now where's my popcorn aha found it start munching some popcorn. Ova. Not gonna lie, this narrator was awesome, Tannen. Agreed, this narrator was different than any narrator than any movies or shows we ever watch son. The Cabiel. Okay, this narrator was pretty cool in my book, Roygun. Smile amused ignoring his tactless mouth, this narrator sure to know how to make this viewing more enjoyable to watch, but the rest of cast nodding in agreement, essay. Closing his eyes taking a deep breath before opening it giving a glare towards the magician's courting death but this a proceeds to rip open the chains binding him with nothing but pure strength before tore open the chains binding office with one of his arm while using his other arm, pointing it at the incoming spells before utter a word, a say. Rashirudo. Creating a wall made of golden and silver lightning that seemingly absorbing all the attacks before bouncing back all of the absorbed spells that was covered in lightning, enhancing the spells back towards the startled group of magicians that tried to cast defensive spells in hurry but it was too late with all of them receiving the their own attack, making them scream in pain with many fall. Unconscious from it, Tsubaki. 
Gaspem Miralis. Skeeth. Nope it was one of the spells he learned from the Golden Book, Azazel. Whistle damn to think that book has spells with similar ability like Mirror Alice too, seems like that book hold more secret to be unleashed, Auden. Caressing his beard my gut feeling telling me that all the spells we've seen so far barely scratch the surface, all the rest of X cast nodding in agreement, Skeeth Korbanek. Thinking while hiding their smirk ha, huh? wait till they see Bao. Office. Even though it was unnecessary but thank you for releasing me. They say. Patting her head while giving her a gentle smile it's alright, mind waiting here for a little bit I got some trash to dispose, office. Okay give a nod before brought out another lollipop licking it while watching the show, but this say disappear from everyone's sight before appear before the group of magicians grabbing each of them one by one, throwing them to one spot before brought his hand up with the cloud in the sky, turn dark before brought his hand down, they say. Rating. But the huge bolt of lightning suddenly came down from the dark clouds on the sky, striking down the group of magicians, as if the heaven deciding to smite the unworthy, while one of the magicians having one thought while staring at his impending demise, magician I. And no way he was the holder of one of the long Ina scene of Tempest. But the lightning finally connecting down towards all of the magicians with the intensity of the lightning turning all of them to ash, leaving none of them alive, Auden. Oh who nice spell there I can't help but feel that the spell just now was supposedly to be normal tier spell but other essay over there, probably enhanced the power of it to be stronger than it was supposed to be, Skeeth. Yep and as the famous saying, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks. Once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick. 10,000 times. Rather than learning a technique before learning other techniques without perfecting it, it's better to understand and comprehend the technique you learn and improve it, anyone agree? The Kabiel. Yeah, you're right, rather than carelessly throwing out overly flashy technique or cost-efficient one that will get the job done like the overly flashy one any sane person would choose the latter, only a self-centered idiot would choose the former. With many x cast nodding in agreement while some can't help but felt insulted with the comment but can't deny because they used to do the former one. Julio. Chuckle and seems like they misunderstood that Issei was the holder of Zenith Tempest, Griselda. When it was actually you who was the holder of it, Uriel can't be helped, considering how huge that lightning was, anyone would be mistaken about it, Arachiel. Honestly I would like to have some pointers from that other essay, considering that he was proficient with lightning spells, Shem has I. Can't blame you that lightning was pretty powerful, but everyone else decided to continue watching the viewing, but this essay sensed the energy signature across the area before nodding satisfied seeing that all the enemies was completely disposed before dispersing the barrier, or. Good decision on his part it never hurt to be careful, Serzich. Indeed even if your opponent are weaker than you but who knows if they somehow know a trick to catch you off guard, I say. Well then shall we go home office. Office. Carry me. Cutely brought both of her arm up towards I say, making him chuckle, I say. Sure thing you little princess caressing her head before crouching down turning his back towards her. But office jumped towards I say latching onto his back before I say getting up while walking back home while giving office piggyback ride with her already fallen asleep after several while. While most of X cast clutching their heart seeing how sweet their interaction are. Iku. Gghhk this too sweet dot dot medic I need medic. Aoki. I think I just got diabetes seeing that but worth it. While Rainer together with Kalwerner and Middle already full unconscious from nosebleed seeing how adorable the interaction shown on the screen was while many follow their footsteps. While some of Xcas chuckle amused seeing what just happened. After a certain amount of time walking before arrived in front of his house, noticing that Serzich Michael Azizaladin and Sir Offal were outside of his house with Serzich about to ring the doorbell before noticed to say an office arrival. I say. Oh it's all of you hello there give a wave, Serzich. Oh Issei San how are why together with the rest of the group wide in their eyes, noticing that office was in Issei back, but Issei noticed where their eyes are looking at before giving a shh gesture, Issei. Shhh, she's sleeping, Michael. I I see, pardon our rudeness. All the rest of the group unable to believe their eyes seeing how office looks comfortable with Issei letting her guard down and sleeping on his back, Issei. I see that all of you has some matter to discuss with the group give a nod well come in, but this say get inside of his house with the rest of the group following suit, screen close, but everyone getting up stretching after seating for quite some time, Serzich. Guess the next viewing it was about other us asking other little brother about other office living with him, Azizel. Well hope it won't go south, while everyone from X cast suddenly give Azizel a stink eye, Azizel. Confused with the look before replying what? Shem has I. Did you have to jinx us you idiot? Azizel. Oh, shit. Skeeth. Chuckle well no use thinking about it, just wait and see for now, let's go have a dinner then together with, and Korbanek head towards the kitchen, but the rest of X cast nodding in agreement before following three of them, seen showing everyone having a hearty dinner while talking with each other before Skeeth getting up to do his dishes before glance towards the readers talking with them, Skeeth. 
Welp, sorry for the late update so I take it upon myself to write this chapter in a day to compensate for that, anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed this viewing, here's some pictures to enjoy. After done doing his dish and throw some pictures for readers to see, Skeef proceeds to join back everyone on the kitchen hanging around with everyone. Ep 46 house visit and surprise. Skeef house kitchen area. Scene showing our host and cast having a breakfast while talking with each other. Skeef. Very good essay, seems like you've improved your cooking prowess. Essay. Sheepishly rubbing back of his head aha. Uh -huh. It's all thanks to Shiru san, either san, together with you with both san and Korbanik san, for teaching me and telling me other food recipe out there. Oh don't sell yourself short sure we give you some pointers or teaching you the recipes but ultimately it was you who take it upon yourself to improve your cooking skills. Mickey. San is right son no need to be humble about it, with everyone else nodding in agreement. Essay. Chuckle well if all of you say so. As is all. So. Anyone curious what will happen next on next viewing? Serzich. My guess we gonna find out other office dance about Cow's Brigade, after other little brother and other volley recruiter to their group. Great Red. Recruit. Raise an eyebrow before speaking more like easily got kidnapped, then got bribed instead. Office. Scowled at Great Red I'm not easy to get kidnapped and bribed. Great Red. Snort before rolling his eyes and point at what is in front of office, so what is that in front of you? Seen showing towering stack of cakes and assortment of sweets and pastries in front of office, while her mouth are full with food making her blush after being proved wrong before she scowls, and decided to continue eating and ignore snickering Great Red. Great Red. Ha Great Red 1, Office 0. While others shaking their head in amusement seeing the two dragon gods banter with each other. Shiva. Anyway, from what I just see, albeit it was intentionally or not, other Issei and Vali group already become stronger after other office decided to join them. Vishnu. Even though that she doesn't know that Great Red was part of the group. Well some of X cast blinking their eyes owlishly in realization. Azazel. Holy shit you're right yell out in pain after get slapped at the back of the head by Penemu. Penemu? Language you fool, don't forget that there's children here. Horbanik. Oh don't worry about it we already make sure that every bad swear or curse word spoken in the house would be censored and filtered out to spare the children's from hearing it. Penemu? Oh I see, sorry for that slap just now Azazel even though you deserve it. Azazel. Oh come on what am I? Chop liver. Bikabiel. Yup you are. Shem has I. He's right and you know it. Arachiel. Petting Azazel's shoulder sorry Azazel, I can't help but agree with him on this you brought it upon yourself. But others cadres also nodding in agreement but Azazel felt like he got sucker punched straight in gut hearing that before proceeds to go sulk at the corner of the room. While everyone else sweat drop seeing that. Skeeth. Chuckle amused before go towards Azazel patting his back there there. Several moments later with Azazel finally cheer up and continue joining others about the discussion just now. Ajuka. Thinking about it, maybe it was just my speculation on my part I think other Great Red could probably become more stronger after he interact with Issei Vali, together with Dragon and Albion earlier than us. Vali. A butterfly effect huh, guess since my rival other self meet with his teacher that wasn't revealed yet making him doesn't develop his perversion many changes would occur. Issei. Man, can't believe many changes would occur if I doesn't become a pervert huh. Thobio. Especially with both other Issei and other Vali teachers save other Vali and take him instead of Azazel, and making Mr. and Mrs. Haidu adopt other Vali into family, making both of other you to become brothers. Diamat. And with both Drake and Albion are released, plus with other Drake managed to brought back the treasures he borrowed from other me glare at Drake, making him sweat. Drake. Oh come on dot dot I swear after we got back I'll find back your treasure. Diamat. I hope you will HMPPH turn her head aside before opening one of her eyes glancing at Drake who breath out sigh of relief, making her think how dense he is. How he doesn't realize the reason why I let him borrow my treasures. How he doesn't notice my feelings yet. While the females of X cast that manage to catch on based of Tiamat expression, chuckle silently to themselves in amusement, Albion. Not to mention that both other me and Drake other self already become stronger than what we used to be, Drake. How strong we doesn't know yet, Great Red. Judging from what other two hatchlings said that office has no chance at all to drive other me away back then in earlier viewings I can 100% guarantee to say that my other self probably becomes stronger than before, making everyone nodding in agreement with Great Red's statement, Auden. Hmm, honestly I pity the poor fool that would decided to pick a fight with them, considering the amount of the powerhouses that was in the group and people that they knows, with everyone turned to Cow Cow and his team giving them look of pity making them sweat before gulping down their saliva nervously, the Kabyle. And seeing that Tsukasa Kadoi is seemingly to interact more and no other essay and volley I dread, if anyone ever decided to piss him off. Making the rest of Xcast broke into cold sweat from the grim thought before getting the flashback of previous viewings of them, seeing Decade kill their alternate counterpart on another universe without even trying at all making them shiver. Azazel. 
about to speak but shaking his head stopping himself from saying anything nope just nope, I'm not gonna tempt fate by saying anything stupid. Arachiel. Gasp before pointing at Azazel who are you where did you hit Azazel no way he was this smart. Azazel. Hey. While everyone chuckle amused seeing that except Kakabiel who was in thought. Kakabiel. Just who's the young man that was covered in green tattoos, the man in rust gold colored armor and the sealed two-headed dragon the image I got back then about their figure was completely blurry no. Better not mull over it more dot dot too much worrying wasn't good for my health. Well Skeeth and Corbinuk was silent knowing the three beings that Kakabiel glimpsed when he accidentally glimpsed on other alternate futures back then. Lord Phoenix. Anyway shall we do the dishes and prepare to watch the viewing. With everyone nodding in agreement before doing their own dishes and head towards the viewing room, taking their own seat with Lilith do the honor using the remote starting the viewing. Screen open. Scene change hide you house living room. Scene showing Issa still carrying sleeping office on his back, followed by the leaders heading towards the couch, gesturing them to take a seat. Issa. I'm home. Asia. Welcome back Issa San. Rainer. Welcome back Issa Kun gasp after noticing the new group of people following Issa. Baldon Issa Kalwerner and Middle gasp like Rainer after seeing the group of people especially Azazel. Azazel. Welp here we goes then. Scene showing everyone taking their own seat while Off is still sleeping on nearby sofa after Issa put her on it, before he let out a cough seeing the awkward silence, seeing that everyone seems like they don't know what to say. Serzich. Well, can't blame our other self the situation they got about office was too sudden to comprehend. Auden. Seeing Office got kidnapped and she's still living in the house without doing anything they are more confused than being cautious. Issei. Serzich and I noticed that Grafia wasn't together with you, usually you two are always being seen together. Serzich. Chuckle oh, about that, Grafia chan was spending time with Milikas together with father and mother, they're hanging out on amusement park at Kuo right now, planning to join them after I'm done with my business here, and picking up Rias chan to join them. Zioticus. Well guess that explain Grafia absence. Benalana. Giggle honestly it's pretty rare to see you both are separated doing your own thing. Sir Awful. Giggle you should see what happened back then Issei Chan it takes Ech Chan together with Venelana Oba San and Zioticus Oji San to persuade her to rest and spend time with Milikas rather than be on work mode all the time. Issei. I see notice that Azazel want to say something towards the other fallen angels in the room Azazel San seems like you want to say something towards them. Azazel. Oh thank you for giving me the opportunity Issei San, coughing before bowing towards the other fallen angels in the room I'm sorry, Rainer. H ha dot dot why you say that Azazel Sama. Azazel. Sure I send you four to Kuo to scout for potential sacred gear users and to bring Asia Santa Grigori to provide sanctuary for her but I never expect that you four would go missing without a trace at all dot dot so, the fault lies towards me, Alwerner. Oh, it's okay Azazel Sama we don't blame you the situation wasn't in everyone control, Middled. Yeah good thing Issei Kun came to save us before the situation become worse. All the group visitors tilt their head confused about what they mean. Michael. Save. What do all of you mean by that? With Rainer and her group glance at Issei as if to ask him a permission to reveal what happened to them before. Issei. Nodding before coughing and make a barrier covering the entire house I could tell all of you what happened to them but will all of you swore to secrecy about it if you want to tell others, please tell me and Bali first. But the group of visitors noticed the serious expression on his say before nodding with serious expression on their own. The Kabiel. Guess it's time they found out about Aida huh? Serzich. Can't blame them if they wouldn't believe it at first it sure sounds unbelievable when heard about it the first time. Azazel. Hope they will take it well thinking nervously I didn't jinx them right. Korbanek. Chuckle don't worry Azazel you didn't jinx them. Azazel. How do you know what I'm thinking? Porbanik. If you think I read your mind, I'm not I just guessing it and you answer it yourself. Azazel. Oh. Rubbing back of his head awkwardly. After certain amount of time of Issei telling them about Aida, except the part that Aida was from another world, making the group of visitors grimacing the more they heard about Aida. Suzaku. Well, seems like Issei Sen didn't tell them about him and Vali experience of going to another worlds. Serzich. Guess it can't be helped, information about going to another world was pretty heavy of topic to share. Auden. So this Aida thing that attacked them was invisible to both human and supernatural beings. Ha dot dot now I get why you want us to swore secrecy about it. Azazel. Grimace while thinking about Aida capabilities he just heard ya, being completely invisible to both supernaturals and human, capable to infect and twist the personality of those they infect without them, realizing and corrupting them even further, was the worst combination to have it, would bring major panic to public, if this information spread with others nodding in agreement, Michael. And you said that both you and Vali San accidentally encounter Aida in a secret place, and together with him you, both helping some people you both met in that place tracking and eradicating Aida. Issei. 
Yeah it was guess a remnant of IE to manage to escape before find Raynor and others before infecting them. Trust me dealing with those things was hell hold back his grimace while Leija pat his back to console him. While Raynor and her group hold back a shiver remembering their experience when got infected. Bold a group of visitors after seeing a say expression all of them nodding to each other simultaneously. Agree that if someone as strong as a say thought that dealing with Aida was pretty severe, they shouldn't speak about it, except telling the one they trust, after asking both a say and volley permission. Surzic. I give you my word to say San, we'll keep this matter about Aida without telling others without you and Vali San permission, with Michael Aziz Aladdin and Serafal nodding in agreement, I say. Thank you for the cooperation, Serafal. Putting a finger on her chin thinking maybe it was just me, honestly I can't help but feel that there's more about the place both you and Vali Chan encounter Aida but I won't intrude, we'll wait until you feel comfortable enough to tell us about this with Serzic, Azizel, Michael and Aden give a say a nod of reassurance, I say. Thank you for this gesture all of you, office. Same with me too. This Aida thing you're saying sounds dangerous. But everyone turned towards office who just got up and overheard their conversation before rubbing her eyes while yawning a bit, Mickey. Oh how adorable of her, Boru. Can't blame you dear she looks like a normal little girl if we don't know that she was an actual dragon goddess, I say. Yep she is ruffling office hair, Azizel. Oh I nearly forgot about our purpose to visit with him and the rest of his group turned towards office, Serzic. Office we want to ask you about your stance on Cow's Brigade, seeing that you are staying here what are you planning? Office. Still rubbing her eyes I don't want to go back, Lolikin's Brigade are bad dot dot plus a say and Volley cook good food. All the visitor group are stupefied hearing what Office just call Cow's Brigade with Serzic Azizel, Serafal and Aden are struggling to hold back their laugh, while well, those that live in the house can't help but give an awkward smile from that, while well, some of X cast watching can't help but laugh a bit hearing that, Rainer. Seems like our other self already know that Office decided to call Cow's Brigade with that nickname, Don't seek. Pretty bizarre development I'd say, Michael. X excuse me I think I just heard you wrong, D did you just call Cow's Brigade as, Office. Nodding resolutely Lolikin's Brigade you aren't wrong, Serzic. P pardon me for asking but, how do you get an idea of calling them as Lolikin's Brigade, struggling to hold back laugh, Office. Pointed a say both a say and Vali said that Cow's Brigade members are full of Lolikins so Vali, call them as Lolikins Brigade. Sir awful. Bahahahaha, <laughs> pardon me, but that was too funny hahahaha <laughs> laughing while clutching her stomach, a say. Well, honestly I'm tempted to call them as busybody brigade people with no hobby brigade drug addict brigade kidnapper brigade sore loser brigade and many more na scratch that'll call them any of that if I met them in the future. And like a damn broken, nearly everyone else burst out laughing, while some are giggling hearing the nicknames, while Michael can't help but give an awkward smile hearing the nicknames. Odin. Bahahahaha <laughs> that was absolutely priceless start wheezing from laughing. Azizel. Gahahahaha <laughs> I don't think that I can take them seriously from now on after hearing those nicknames, Serzic. Azizel right now they sounds like a joke hahahahaha. <laughs> and every X cast also in same condition laughing to themselves from hearing the nicknames for a while before stopping catching themselves and continue watching. After several moment before everyone calm themselves down from laughing, they say. Chuckle well so all of you don't have to worry about office to return as Lolikin's brigade leader from now on. Well some let out a snicker hearing the nickname, Serzic. Still dot dot how about your goal to achieve silence by driving away Great Red from Dimensional Gap? Office. Shaking her head sadly I have to drop that plan essay said that even if I achieve it I would get disturbed by Lolikin's brigade, nonetheless asking for my snakes. While Office hugging her knees sulking about it before essay getting up and head towards her ruffling her hair to comfort her, essay. It's okay Office me and Volley will find out a way to make a silent place of your liking. Office. Looking up at essay promise. Essay. Promise hold out his pinky finger to office. Office. What are you doing? Tilt her head aside. I say. A pinky promise, meaning that I'll fulfill my promise no matter what giving her a warm smile. Office. I see. Proceeds to do pinky promise with a say. All those watching the scene can't help but feel their heart melt for the cute and wholesome scene especially Rainer who already fall unconscious from cuteness overload. And the same thing happened to most people in the viewing room especially the females who start gushing about it. Rainer. SOQT squealing out of excitement, Mickey. Oh they're adorable, and Alana. They sure is, I say. Well guess it's time for lunch, would all of you gonna join us? Serafal. Oh I will, Aden. Count me in, honestly I'm kinda hungry right now, Azizel. Sure I am who gonna pass on free food, Serzic. Well I still got time so pardon me, Michael. Thank you for your hospitality I say dono, I say. You're welcome. But everyone noticed that the front door opened before noticing Ravel and Kakabiel who was wearing a new disguise with both of them holding a bag of groceries on each of their hand, came inside the house. Kakabiel. Looking good other me nice drip nodding in approval. Shemhizai. 
Well, guess that's what you expected from you considering how long you managed to keep using the same disguise fooling all of us all these years, Arachiel. I'm honestly still feel stupefied that we doesn't notice that back then, Ravel. We're home, Akabiel. We're home, here's the groceries together with Ravel give the bags of groceries to Rainer who put all the groceries to refrigerator oh, seems like we got a guest, Azazel. Looking at Kakabiel confused before speaking him you looks familiar for some reason do I know you? Kakabiel. Chuckle maybe because I'm a fallen angel that you feels familiar the name Kabale nice to meet all of you do a polite bow, while letting out only five pair of wings, making the group of visitors widen their eyes especially Michael and Azazel. Michael. Ten wing. Azazel. A cadre class level fallen angel how, didn't I know anything about you, pretty sure I know all other fallen angel out there. Kakabiel. Haha, <laughs> I'm used to be a simple angel before I fall, maybe because you doesn't know about me because I'm keeping to myself all these years I reached five pair after training myself, Michael. I see so how did you meet with both a say dono and volley dono? Vicabiel. Been questioning about life choices before I encountered them and fought with a say he defeated me, making I respect his strength so decided to become a bodyguard here, while occasionally giving them pointers point to Rainer and her group, Auden. Oh who, interesting tale for sure, Auden. Sheesh, other you deserve an Oscar for manage to fool other us, Vicabiel. Thank you for the compliment let out a smirk, a say. Well, I'm gonna start cooking right now, make yourself at home then heading towards the kitchen, followed with Asia, Ravel, Rainer, Kalawiner and Middled, and start cooking with their assistants preparing for lunch. After several while before everyone having a hearty lunch while talking with each other, Serzich. I just noticed, where's your brother Issei San? Ali. Suddenly appear behind Serzich using instant transmission wasp I'm back, making Serzich jump from his seat from the sudden jump scare, Serzich ga, but Lazazel and Seraphal laughing seeing Serzich get spooked, with nearly everyone burst out laughing seeing that while well, Serzich blushing red out of embarrassment, Ajuka. Been a while since I see Serzich got jump scared like that shaking head out of amusement, Issei. Throw a chopstick at Bali who catch it, stop being a prankster to our guests just sit down and eat you idiot, Ali. He my bad take a seat and start eating, Issei. What are you doing just now before coming back and where's Reagan's Albion? Ollie. Shrugs going to local gym to pass time both of them doing their own thing I think, Greg. So that's explain why other me was silent, Albion. Hum I wonder what other us are doing, Michael. Zregan's Albion. Issei. Oh, Zreg was godfather of me, and Zalbian was godfather of Vali they become friends with our parents when we go to Wales for vacation when both me and Vali was still a kid, Azizel. He's right there heard about it when Vali together with both of them came to school to deliver Issei his bento back then, Serzich. I see, Sir Offal. Guess we can safely say that Office decided to stay here and won't come back to Cow's Brigade then, with everyone glance at Office who currently eating her food especially the pastries and desserts at fast speed with elated smile, Azizel. Sheesh, this is the first time I see Office make such expression on her face and honestly it was pretty bizarre, Auden. Well, enough talk everyone, let us just enjoy our food turn to the same mind if I take some as take out. Roswis. Auden Sama don't be shameless waving her paper fan menacingly at Auden who gulped down saliva nervously. Auden. Oh come on give me a break I bet other me said that if the food was good. Serzich. Laughing sheepishly before saying ah dot dot mind if I have some take out too for my family. Would be unfair to them if only I get to eat such good food. Seraphal. Oh same with me I want to share some with So Chan too. Azizel. If they already said thing can I also too. All the rest of X cast looking at sheepish Azazel, Serzich and Seraphal with dry look, Rafia. That was shameless of you Serzich Sama giving him unamused stare, Sona. I'm disappointed of you one Sama. Shem has I. How low you can get Azazel. The three of them sulking in their seat from the stairs, Issei. Chuckle well sure thing I get a feeling that all of you would request that so I already prepared it point to the counter at the kitchen, showing several containers full of food, there's also some for you Michael San. Michael. Oh oh, thank you for that essay dono. Seen everyone continue eating before the screen turned dark changing to another scene. Skeeth. Turn to Xcast cast so now the viewing will show scenes of the sport festival before. Shake head amused well all of you would understand it will show at the end of the viewing. All the rest of Xcast cast are confused by what Skeeth mean by that before shrugging decided to trust him. Several days later, scene change Kuo school. Scene showing the students are participating in school sports festival. Essay. And that's done done with his work before heading towards the field and watch the students participating in sports festival, Issei. So it's time for the sports festival huh, male teacher A. Oh Issei sensei, finally you join us the festival is about to start I already reserved some seats for you, Issei. Oh thank you for that taking a seat, female teacher A. Thank you for helping the student council doing their work letting them to participate in the festival, Issei. 
No problems, they're still young, they should enjoy their youth instead of burdening themselves with work, making other teachers hearing that sweat drops from his statements while thinking sure he's mature for his age but are we sure he's still 17 not some adult disguising themselves as a teen. All some of Xcast chuckle amused with a group of teachers thought, as is all. Can't blame them, having a mature teen as a teacher was pretty rare. Seen showing a say and the group of teachers enjoying themselves watching the students doing their best while on part of visiting family area, showing Serzich Serafel Ruval and Razor together with their own parents, waving a big flag while shouting words of encouragement, making Ria Sona and Ravel blushing red, embarrassed with their family antics. Bilasia or like them blushing red embarrassed from Rainer, Calwerner and Middle cheering for her from the stands. Ria's. Mao I nearly forgot this that was so embarrassing. Sona. Why the viewing show this scene? Ravel. Why just why covering her red face? All their own families teasing them further making them blushing more. Asia. Rainer San. This is so embarrassing. Rainer. Oh no it's not Asia Chan, you're adorable and deserve to be cheered for proceeds to hug her. Well Calwerner and Middle nodding in agreement, they say. Notice that one teacher was on a call before ask what the call was about feeling curious about it was is that about? Male teacher C. Oh me and others noticed that since you helping us doing lots of work in preparation for the sports festival we together with the headmaster got an idea to call a music band to perform after end of the sport festival tonight. They say. How why I didn't know about this. Female teacher G. Giggle you already helping us with preparation for the festival, it's rude for us to ask your help about this too. They say. I see so whose idea was it? But the rest of teachers pointed Azazel who stop eating like a deer in headlights after notice everyone pointing at him. They say. Seriously oh well what done is done I wonder which band was it thinking what is the sense of foreboding. Azizel. Snap his fingers oh man I can't believe I didn't think that. Sona. A music band huh, guess it wouldn't hurt letting the students enjoying themselves. Rias. Now I wonder which music band they hire. Headmaster. Honestly when I was thinking on which music band to hire, there's some people I met the other day that after telling them about this situation they agreed that their band would perform for free for tonight. Male teacher K. Seriously headmaster that sounds too good to be true, don't you afraid they won't come? Headmaster. Shaking head amused oh don't worry, some of them already preparing themselves at the auditorium the vice principal was over there making sure the students doesn't come there to not ruin the surprise. Female teacher G. Eyes blinking so that's why vice principal wasn't here. Male teacher Y. So who's the members of that band? Headmaster. He, wouldn't be a surprise if I say so even I'm shocked when learned the group member's identity. Azizel. Just give up he wouldn't say who was it at all now we can only wait and see. But everyone decided to take the advice before continue watching the sports festival. Scene showing that the sports festivals finally end at near the twilight. They say. Man I wonder which band that the headmaster was hiring. Genshiru. Yeah, another change how huh? we didn't even get to experience this. Udo. Another change how huh? I never expect that even the sports festival would be affected. Scene showing the headmaster lay down the surprise about a music band would be performing at the auditorium, making many students cheers for that before everyone start heading towards the auditorium. But this same notice that the headmaster asking him to walk side by side at the back of the group of people heading towards the auditorium. They say. So what is it you wanted to talk about headmaster? Headmaster. Chuckle well, I'm sorry for telling you late about this because it was their request for not telling you, but the band name was. But the headmaster speak the name of the band that would be performing making a say wide in his eye in shock before he turned towards Razor, who glanced back at a say, giving him a grin and finger salute, before separating away from his family, and stealthily goes to hidden path heading towards the back of the auditorium getting inside, a say. Oh for the love of. Fasipum to himself before shaking his head no wonder those three are being secretive lately pardon me headmaster. But this say proceeds to stealthily leave the group and use the same path as Razor heading towards the back of the auditorium getting inside it while the headmaster are chuckling to himself seeing that. They say. Oh man, seems like the name of the band that would be performing was muted out huh. Ollie. Guess probably for element of surprise huh. Arthur. Seems like we can only wait and see. All the perceptive ones can already guess who was the band members but decided to keep it to themselves. Scene change Kuo School Auditorium. Scene showing all the teachers and students together with the students' families already taking their own seat with the students, are talking with each other, feeling anticipation about the upcoming concert and which band that would perform. Rias. So Sona do you know anything about this? Sona. Shake head no I'm not even I'm surprised hearing about this. Subaki. Yeah we wasn't even notified about this. Udo. Should we ask a say sensei about this on which band are performing? Rias. Good idea Yudo. But Rias and Sona together with their peerage members looking around for a say but he was nowhere to be seen. Rias. Asia Chan, Ravel Chan do you know where a say sensei was? But both of them shaking their head. Asia. No I'm not, I've trying to find a say sen but without success. Ravel. 
Same with me not just to say San but Ani Sama was also nowhere to be seen. Rainer. Joining the conversation it is they've gone missing since we get inside the auditorium. Rias. Hmm dot dot I wonder where they are. Sona. Can be helped. Issei sensei must have some matter to handle before came back joining us watching the concert. Narrator. Oh he would be joining all of you for sure but another way around. Azazel. Yeah we know narrator san no need the sarcasm. Bikeno. Fufu, seems like president was disappointed seeing that Issei sensei wasn't here. Rias. No I'm not blushing red from the teasing. After several while of waiting, everyone attention are focused to the headmaster who was in middle of stage standing in front of red curtain, seemingly covering the band group. Headmaster. Talking loudly through microphone for everyone to hear well well, seems like everyone here are already waiting long enough now let me present you all Twilight Revolution. But the headmaster get off from the stage, while the curtain going up before showing Issei Vali Sere or Gun Razor in matching outfits, with both Issei and Vali as both vocalist and guitarist Razor as bass guitarist and Sere or as drummer. This is their outfit as usual, just discard the black bandage at the cheek, and two red bracelet on the wrist and lastly this outfit got the drip. But everyone are stunned especially the students seeing that Issei was part of the band that would be performing tonight. Issei. Taking a deep breath well then dot dot let the concert begin. Razor. Let's get this show on the road. Bali. Oh yeah do a guitar riff. Sererg. Let's do this play the drum. Screen close. But Skeeth and Corbinic get up stretching turning towards Xcast cast before sweat drops, after seeing that those that was romantically involved or hold feelings towards Issei Vali, Sererg and Razor, already fall down unconscious, while some sprout out nosebleed after seeing Issei Vali, Sererg and Razor outfit on the screen, while Issei former harem members was also in same condition. Skeeth. Can't be helped that outfit got the drip. Tuckle they stand no chance at all. Corbinic. Nodding sagely to himself drip is da way and only wa. After the rest of X cast finally managed wake up the females that fall unconscious. Skeeth. So. How's the surprise? They say. It's completely surprising, never thought that other us would perform on sports festival. Bali. Yeah even I didn't expect that. Razor. It is still, being a bass guitarist, maybe Razor should give it a try. Sererg. Same, maybe I also should pick up playing drums as hobby. Azazel. Whistle now I can't wait to hear what songs they gonna sings and seems like both Issei and Vali over there was both vocalist and guitarist. Ziodicus. Let out a grin after seeing Serzic who was in thought before nudging his sides with an elbow, you're hoping that other you would become their songwriter a son. Serzic. Let out sheepish laugh while rubbing back of his head was I'm that obvious. Then Alana. Giggle fufu, what kind of parents we are if we can't guess what our children are thinking. Raphia. Let out a smile and your love of music make it more obvious Serzic sama. Milikas. Yep dad really love music, Serzic. He, thank you everyone, Skeeth. Well do your own thing then everyone we got something to do see ya. But Skeeth together with and Corbinic leave the house before teleporting away to somewhere else. Issei. So, who's up for dinner? With everyone hold their hand up agreeing with the suggestion making Issei chuckle and head towards the kitchen with everyone following suit, with some planning to help preparing for dinner. Ep 47 Twilight Revolution Concert Debut One of the area on Skeeth Domain, seen showing some of those that live across Skeeth Domain was lying down relaxing on the grass or talking with each other. Olga. So Mavisan, this is how you do it. Using one of the spells she learned from Mavis. Mavis. Yup it is Olga Chan you're finally managed to learn heavenly body magic, congratulations transform into her adult form, before patting Olga head, praising her all the time making her blush, before sputtering some words out of embarrassment. While on the other side Ramani, Ritsuka and Zara for chuckling seeing both Olga and Mavis interaction before talking between themselves. Ritsuka. Man, I'm glad for her smile mesmerized seeing Olga happy smile. Ramani. Yeah, she's more happy since she started living here. Ritsuka. It is, still Zeris and I wanted to say thank you on Olga-chan behalf for asking Mavis and to teach her some magic and other things. Zeref. Don't worry it was just small matter Mavis also been wanting to find a disciple of her own. Ramani. It was kind of eye-opening after learned about your world and how the magic system works on your world. Zeref. Oh, about that huh scratching his chin if put it your world terms the state in my world would called as age of gods, am I right? Ramani. You could say that the way the mana concentration in the air on the world you came from was really similar with our world when it was in the age of the gods. Ritsuka. I guess it might be possible considering that the monsters and creatures from Zerasan world can be considered as phantasmal beings am I right? Ramani. Still dot dot it was kinda baffling that things that the mages can easily do in your world was hard for mages in our world and what things that mages can easily do in our world was hard to do in your own world. Ritsuka. Nodding in agreement while remembering the times Zeref telling the tale about his Brigand 12 yeah, I'm not that knowledgeable but the way the magic are developed in your world was completely different than ours. Zeref. Chuckle well, every world have different circumstances between each other so that is probably the case. Ritsuka. 
Speaking of looking around where's Natsu-san? Pretty sure he was with us just now, but out responding Zarif just pointed at other part of the area showing Natsu who was having a heated spar with Ranma, Shiru. Together with Peter came over joining the conversation before let out a whistle seeing Natsu and Ranma having a spar, if I don't know any better from the way they are fighting they could be easily mistaken as a servant, Peter. Yeah if they are in my world, they would easily become a hero stopped himself remembering Natsu's destructive tendency and chaotic situations that always follow Ranma making him sweat drops nope, probably not. Romani. Oh Shiru san Peter san, seems like you both decided to join us, Peter. Well we both decided to take a break like Ritsuka here, taking a rest from weapons training with Mr. Either, Ritsuka. Yeah, Either Sen was pretty strict training us, can't be helped seeing everything would be restricted if we go in that world, with Shiru and Peter nodding in agreement, Shiru. Agreed I need to get break away from my usual habit when fighting like usual if I want to go to that world, Peter. Totally, those monsters in that world are no joke, but Romani Ritsuka Shiru and Peter held back a shiver remembering a certain monkey onslaught during the time when they joined the cast watching the viewing, Harido. Yo, Ichika. How's it going everyone? Give a wave, Sato. Notice that you guys was relaxing here so three of us decided to join, Ritsuka. Oh, everyone, you're welcome to join us, Erflinger. Oi Romani, your girlfriend are searching for you outside of the park, Romani. Brightened up wait really. Turned to others with sheepish smile rubbing back of his head aha, pardon me everyone, seems like I got a date, but everyone else give him thumbs up while wishing him luck, Ritsuka. Chuckle man, I'm glad for him, Zarif. Well he needed after what happened back then, but everyone sweat drops remembering Romani depressed state after learning the truth about the idol he used to follow, Shiru. Well, let's go eat then everyone proceeds to project needed table, chairs and cutlery for a feast, and brought out foods he cooked beforehand, but everyone stopped what they're doing and enjoyed the lunch, scene changed Keith house kitchen area, scene showing the rest of X cast also enjoying their lunch courtesy of the housewives after telling Issei to take a break from cooking duty, seeing that he's the one that always cooks for him to spend time with his harem members and friends, Issei. No matter how good I am at cooking's cos and cooking's is the best seconds please brought his rice bowl forward for seconds, with everyone else nodding in agreement while also wishing for second serving of food, Boru. Agreed your mother cooking is the best, Greg. Yeah you got my respect for your cooking prowess Mrs. Haidu, Mickey. Moo, you're making me blush your dear Issei and Drag sent for the praise, anyway sure thing together with other housewives proceeds to refill everyone bowl, Arachiel. Eating his food through tears while Akeno was also in same situation, I really miss the taste of your food Shuri, Akeno. Same with Miyaka-san, Shuri. Fufufu eat up to your liking, while others are busy with talking with each other Vali was eating his pasta slowly, while remembering the times when his mother always feed him pasta, Albion. You miss your mother? Bali? Yeah I can't deny that but I'm happy that she finally found her own happiness, Albion. Same with me such a kind woman doesn't deserve to be subjected to such treatment from your sorry excuse of a father, but Vali frowned a bit remembering the memory of him getting beaten up by his father and his mother also getting hurt when trying to protect him, Vali. Yeah honestly I'm glad he's dead with both him, and Albion remembered when they got a news of Vali father death anyway, shall we get ready for next viewing, Skeeth Sand and others already waiting at the viewing room, Albion. Yeah, let's go chuckle honestly I'm kinda curious how well your other self will sing, and if possible you can also sing too, Ollie. Let out a smirk not gonna lie, never thought I would see myself singing on stage like that, and honestly it make me curious about it, let's go Albion, Albion. Let's go Vali. But both of them get up and do their dishes before heading towards the viewing room with others noticing their departure and decided to follow them after done eating. Scene showing everyone already taking their own seat getting ready for the viewing. Well then, let's start the viewing proceeds to snatch the remote from Skeeth's hand and start the viewing. Skeeth. I twitching before let out a sigh erg. Whatever. While everyone else chuckling seeing that, Skeeth. Turn to readers okay, I've been contemplating for a while, and I decided to change the way the lyrics of the songs are shown to be easier for readers to read hope everyone can understand that, screen open, scene showing literally everyone except the headmaster was stunned from the unexpected surprise, they say. Well I can't blame them sure that we know that other us was in a band but never thought other us would suddenly perform during the sports festivals, Genshiru. Yeah he's right, totally different than what happened in our world, but the band start playing the music with Issei as the singer, Mask from Aqua Timis, but Issei as the singer, he sings Bleach ending 30, but everyone jaw drops after hearing the song before cheering loudly, Genshiru. Wuei I never thought that sensei can sing like that, Yura. Yeah the way he sings. Blushing madly while many of the female students was in same condition like her, Rias. T2 handsome trying to hold back her nosebleed, Akeno. Breathing heavily while fanning herself I I can't blame you Ria sensei was mesmerizing. Hanaki. Desperately trying to hold back her ears and tails from popping up sensei dot dot so cool. Sona. 
thinking not just handsome, intelligent and charming dot dot but knowing to sing too. Sir awful. Shamelessly grinning without bothering to hide her nosebleed Sir likey. Brainer. Moo I know that we learned that Issei Kun sings but this is too good. Asia. You're right Rainer Nisama, Issei sent sings so good. Halwerner. He must have practiced a lot, I can see that he enjoyed to sing. Middled. Guess that's why he tends to go inside the diorama lately, he's been practicing there. Ravel. Issei Kun dreamily looking at Issei while her family chuckle looking at her. Serzich. Scratch his chin thinking man he sings really well I wonder if they are in need of songwriter. Bulgrafia, Ziodicus and Venelana shaking head in amusement knowing what Serzich was thinking. Serzich. He was I'm that obvious. Nearly everyone. With deadpan voice yep you are. But Serzich laughing sheepishly upon hearing the response. Issei. Still the song other me is singing was really good. Greg. Yep it is. Iku. And it seems like it was Bali turn. Bali. Let out a grin hen now I'm interested. Albion. Same with me. Silhouette from Kanaboon. But Vali is the singer. Udo. Whoa even Vali Sen was as good as Sensei. Asper. Yeah Vali Sen really good at singing too. Azazel. Whistle impressed damn to think both brothers was also good at singing too. Color me surprised aha snap his fingers after got an idea and brought out a video recorder. Planning to record the concert gotta sell this video at headquarters bet. Those ladies would love to see this and would pay handsomely for this man I'm a genius. But everyone else especially Issei and Vali giving Azazel a not so amused look making him chuckle nervously. Issei. Sensei did you have to throw us under the bus like that? Azazel. Oh come on what the harm of doing that? There's nothing wrong to gain a quick cash. Ali. Sighing from Azazel's stupidity what I can say is, behind you. But Vali pointed Azazel back making him turn around nervously before let out a loud gulp upon seeing the rest of Issei harem except Asia cracking down their knuckles glaring down at him menacingly. Rainer. Spoke in sickly sweet tone any last words Azazel sama. Azazel. Shaking like a leaf from terror and mercy. Sir awful. Wrong choice of words beat him girls. But Azazel let out a girlish scream from the beatdown. Lavinia. Walk to the group while smiling with her eyes closed, mind if I join you girls a certain crow needed to be teached a lesson for trying to use Virginia Kun. Isaka. Sure thing Lavinia Chan. Hiroka. The more the merrier. Lavinia. Pardon me then open her eyes smiling menacingly and join the group beating down Azazel. Meanwhile with others. Michael. Sighing why you have to dig down your grave Azazel. Uriel. He's an idiot what to expect. Raphael. It is, anyway, popcorn. Tilt his popcorn before others. Shem his eye. Sure, nothing beats watching the idiot getting the beating he deserves. The cabiel. Came out from the kitchen anyone wants some 3D glasses I also brought some sodas. But everyone brought their hand up with each of them wearing 3D glasses, munching popcorn and drinking soda watching the show. Issei. What are you doing Skeeth San? Skeeth. Oh I was recording the beating guess that some of you would like it as a memento. Great Red. Give me 10 copy of that. Fafner. 7 copy for me. Greg. 9 copy is enough for me. Albion. Same with me. Azazel. Hey get silenced by a double dropkick in the face courtesy of Seraphol and Roswis. After a while everyone continue watching the viewing with Azazel in full body cast sobbing to himself. Ika. Noticed what Azazel was doing oh it seems like you also have same idea like me Azazel sensei glance at his crotch looking good as usual ha huh, sensei. But Azazel hold back a shiver after noticed where she is looking at feeling violated from it. Azazel. I admit I was a pervert myself but that was creepy. But Azazel also hold back a shiver like his other self. The Cabiel. Okay is she seriously wasn't a supernatural being in disguise that was kinda creepy I admit. Horbanik. Chuckle nah she wasn't, she's completely a normal human being. But Vali finish singing before goes towards Razor with both him and Razor switch their own music equipment, with Razor taking a breath preparing to sing. Ravel. Ani Sama gonna sing too. Bruvel. Chuckle now this is a surprise. Lord Phoenix. Seems like our son also has a secret of his own to write dear. Lady Phoenix. Indeed dear now I also anticipating how well Razor gonna sing, but some of X cast jaw drops in disbelief, especially Razor upon seeing other Razor in the screen was about to sing, days by flow, but Razor is the singer, but the audience was stunned after hearing the song before also let out a loud cheer, Bruvel. Wow, never thought that Razor had it in him, guess the decision to send him study in human world, works wonders huh, Lord Phoenix. Indeed it is son what I can say, it's the best decision we ever made, I'm glad that Razor has grown into fine adult, Lady Phoenix. Fufufu, fu fu. you're right dear been a while since I see Razor enjoying himself doing things he likes, just look how he enjoyed himself singing, Ravel. Smile warmly seeing Razor truly enjoying himself singing it is, since meeting Issei Kun and Vali San, Ani Sama become a new whole person, Ubaluna. You're right Ravel Sama, I'm glad that Razor Sama truly enjoyed himself and others also doesn't complain too ain't it girls. 
let out cheeky grin seeing that the rest of Razor Peerage members was blushing red, seeing the one they love singing on the stage, I say. Slap Razor back making him stumble a bit damn man you sing so good you got my respect bro, Razor. Well dot dot Razor was also perplexed though, maybe Razor should try train to sing too from time to time, Lord Phoenix. Anyway son good luck tonight pat Razor's shoulder before pointing at Razor Peerage members that was looking at Razor hungrily like a piece of meat, Razor. Razor time has come this battle shall be legendary, Ika. Looking at the live video she posted on the internet where the views are continuously rising, making her grin triumphantly heh, guess it was inevitable, but both Cadis and Murayama looking over Ika's shoulder before gasp upon seeing the continuous rising of views, Cadis. Oi Ika did you seriously record the video? Don't you know that Sensei didn't want unnecessary popularity? Murayama. Nodding Cadis is right, wouldn't Sensei be upset after you pull this stunt? Azizel. Oya say are you sure those two doesn't strike your fancy seeing how they are concerned with your other self, well being they are hot though. But let's say jaw drops upon hearing that while blushing a bit from being teased by Azazel who was laughing. Meanwhile some of X cast Fasipam seeing that Azazel just dig his own grave again. Suzaku. Azazel san just look at your back. But Azazel gone pale in realization before slowly turn looking back and let out terrified shriek, seeing Issei say harem except Asia already mid charge towards him. Skeeth. Using a microphone yelling out round 2 fight. Bull both and Corbinuk pull out a board written with round 2 above their heads. How cow. For someone as intelligent as he is how he can be so dumb at the same time. Bayorg. That's the mystery of the world my friend. Pericles. Better not question it if you say so. Jean. Already wearing 3D glasses eating popcorn watching the show at least we got a free show from this. But Cow Cow the rest of his team let out a shrug before decided to follow her lead. After the beatdown everyone continue watching the viewing, while well, both Office and Lilith using a stick poking at Azazel writhing form. Skeeth. Shake head before snapping his fingers healing Azazel well hope you learned your lesson then about talking carelessly. Azazel. Struggling getting to his seat why ya, yeah, lesson taken. Ika. Well not just me, others also do the same thing to gesture towards others who also recording the concert, even if I didn't record it it was inevitable anyway. But both Murayama and Cadis decided to give up seeing that Ika got a point. Meanwhile on the stage, they say. Grin well then your turn then Sererg. But this say goes towards Sererg giving him his guitar and take Sererg place as the drummer and Sererg taking a say place and getting ready to sing too. While with Miss La together with the rest Sererg peerage members. Miss La. To think that you also would sing too. Smile warmly no matter what you do you always got your mother support Sererg, Kusha. To think that Sererg Sama would sing to dot dot I can't wait for it, Regulus. Yosh this going to be awesome, Sererg. Eh who I never thought my other self would have a penchant of singing to I never considered that, Beluga. I never thought that even though it was different version we would see our king singing, Liban. Honestly I can't wait to see it, hologram by Nyko touches the wall, but Sererg is the singer, but the students let out a loud cheer feeling exhilarated seeing each members of the band was capable of singing, meanwhile in some part of America, random bro a. Eh? Guys check this out our fellow bros is a volley razor and Sererg on the internet they started singing again, group of bros. Wait what? For real? Random bro b. Oh man this takes us back during our time at university, random rich bro c. You know what this call for celebration it's on me tonight. Random rich bro D. No it's on me tonight. Another rich bro F. Me it's on me. But all the rich bros in the group start brawling making a mess to decide who's gonna pay. Well the others are cheering seeing that well some are betting to see who's gonna win the brawl. But the cast cast sweat drop seeing that. Skeeth. Now that's what we call peak brotherhood why proud tear. Sirzich. They are interesting group of friends for sure chuckle awkwardly. Meanwhile on another part of the world, scene showing Alto, Cheryl Ranka and others was hanging out before Ranka noticed a certain video on YouTube. Ranka. Everyone check this out it's them talking excitedly. With everyone being curious decided to see what make Ranka being so excited before widen their eyes seeing that Issei Volley Razor and Sarah are gone the video. Alto. Oh they started singing again. Michael Blanc. Now this is quite a surprise we got here. Plan. Oh boy now this gotta be interesting I thought they stopped singing already. Brera. Let out a smirk seems like we are quite mistaken. Luca. Anyway they are still good at singing as usual huh. Nanis. I still remember before they stopped singing they last performed on our graduation day. Branca. Yeah what a day it was chuckle remembering past memories before her and others noticed Cheryl who was quiet Cheryl sand is there something wrong. Cheryl. Noticed others gaze towards her making her let out a chuckle before giving a smirk he, it's nothing, I'm just thinking about possible collaboration for now, let us just enjoy the video. But others widen their eyes after realizing what Cheryl was thinking about, but most of Xcast realized what Cheryl are planning. Brainer. A collaboration. Halwerner. Concert with. Middled. The Galactic Songstress. The three of them faint from imagination over Lotus A and other his other harem members, panic seeing three of them fainted again. Auden. 
Who dot dot I might be mistaken but could be they would invite for them for collaboration concert in the future. Heh who knows only time will tell, Gabriel. Well, guess we just have to wait and see if it would happen or not, but everyone continue watching the viewing. Meanwhile in different part in Japan at a certain residence, scene showing Ranma, Ichika and Kitaro was visiting Karasuma and his wife Irina, with five of them currently was chatting on the living room. Ranma. Oh man, thank you for inviting us, Irina. It's a small matters, besides it's been quite a while since we see you three, Ichika. Yeah we last see you both on your wedding day, Karasuma. HMPH, time surely flies fast huh, Kitaro. Yep it is taking a drink while checking his phone before noticed a certain video holy crap seriously. Karasuma. Hmm what happened? Kitaro. Grinning just check it out show the video about the concert to others. Ranma. Damn they started singing again huh, never thought that it would be this early. Ichika. Man, this make me remember during our time in university. Karasuma. Heh, you're right. Arena. Let out cheeky grin well well, guess four of them would be troubled with the same issue like in the university after this, but other four knowing what she was talking about let out small chuckle in amusement, knowing what would happen next, they say. Man even them was shown too, Greg. Not gonna lie I was kinda curious what she mean about the issue she was talking about, Ollie. Well, guess we can only wait for now, Albion. Agreed, but the concert still going on for several songs before the finale, they say. Well then it was fun while it lasted but, Ollie. Here's the last song tonight with both him and Issei turn towards Razor and Sarah are grinning, with both Sarah Erg and Razor grinning back you ready guys. Razor. Ready. Razor is more than ready. Sarah Erg. Time for the finale. But four of them started playing some music preparing for last song with four of them taking a deep breath preparing to sing while the rest of the audience starting to get excited, feeling that the last song would be epic. Issei. Ooh oh I don't know why but this last song gonna be epic. Bali. Yeah I'm feeling pumped up right now for some reason. Albion. Not gonna lie this song makes me itching for a fight, Greg. Ha I agree with you Albion you took the words right out of my mouth but most of X cast nodding in agreement with four of them feeling pumped for a fight, Super Survivor by Hironobu Kajayama, but this say Volley Razor and Sererg is the singer, with everyone literally cheering loudly getting up from their seats especially the males after hearing the song feeling pumped up, scream close, but Skeeth and Korbanek let out a smirk while counting knowing what would happen next, Korbanek. 3. 2. Skeeth. 1. They say. Ooh, I'm feeling pumped up right now, Ali. Okay, that's it. Let's go for a spar right now. Hi, do Greg. Come on, Albion. It's time for our faded rematch. My blood already boiling up for a fight right now, Albion. Ha, right back at you. Let's go, DDRAIG. With nearly everyone else in X cast, especially the males rushing towards the arena room for a fight, feeling pumped up from the song they just heard, while well, those that were left behind decided to follow them, leaving only Skeeth and Korbanek in the room. Skeeth. Yep, can't blame them for that. Super Survivor was a freaking godsend. Korbanek. Agreed, anyway let's go guys. But other two give a nod before teleport away from the house. Ep 48 A Chaotic Hunt. Arena Room and Skeeth House. Scene showing Skeeth and Korbanek getting inside the room and notice some of X cast are fully covered in injuries while being healed by Asia and others. Skeeth. So. How's the spar? They say. Well both me and Volley spar end up in draw. Ollie. Chuckle yeah just as he said. Greg. Has same thing can be said happened with me and Albion. Albion. Getting to spar without any interference was kind of new experience truth to be told. Azizel. Give both of them a dry look without interference huh. While the rest of those that participate in Great War also can't help but give both Drag and Albion a dry look making both of them whistle innocently. Anyway, snap his finger healing those who was injured. All of you go refresh yourself me Skeeth and Korbanek will prepare some food for you guys come to the dining room in 30 minutes with him. Skeeth and Korbanek head towards the kitchen to prepare some food for Xcast. But the rest of Xcast give a nod before heading towards their own room refreshing themselves and goes towards the dining room, enjoying a hearty meals before everyone goes towards the viewing room preparing themselves for the viewing, they say. Well guess it's about time huh? Honestly I'm curious about how our other self will deal with Loki, but those that was involved with battle against Loki also in deep thought wondering about it, Roswiss. Yeah I also been wondering about it will they subdue Loki-sama easier or not, Fenrir. Woof 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 special translation. There's no need to think, just watch it even I'm curious about the fate of my other self, Rias. Well I guess we can prepare ourselves to see how it will go, well. About dealing with Loki will be put on hold grin, Horbanek because four of them will go somewhere first doing something before dealing with Loki, with some gasp already guessing what their host was talking about, Serzich. Don't tell me that they will. Skeeth. Grinning oh they will point the remote to the screen starting the viewing, screen open, scene change Kuo Town Street's middle of night, scene showing at random street of Kuo Arena together Citri and Gremory Peerage, just finished disposing the mob attack from hero faction, that continuously tried attacking them for these past several days, Rias. 
Ah I remembered when they're attacking us trying to force unlock their balance breaker, Sona. And seems like in this timeline they tried to attack us when we are together, Issei. Turn to Cow Cow seriously dude did, you think all of us were some kind of rare bosses that give lots of EXP sending people to fight against us back then to force unlock their balance breaker. How Cow. Turn away no comment. All the rest of his team give an amused smirk at Cow Cow for trying to escape from answering. Rias. Wipe a sweat while patting her clothes to clear some dust Wu, finally done these attacks becoming more and more frequent I'd say. Sona. Adjusting her glasses you're right Rias, seems like they're trying to achieve something. But Arena give her opinion about these attacks making everyone ponder about it. Rias. Hmm dot dot as much as I hate to admit it, they have better chances fighting against us and survive to unlock their balance breaker before escaping, rather than fighting against us AK let out a cough before correcting herself as a sensei or volley san. All the rest of girls in the group let out small grin feeling amused with Rias nearly slipping up, while Rias can't help but let out small melancholic smile seeing that remembering happier times. Akeno. Yeah, last time they tried to do so when fighting against Issei Sensei and Vali San but all of you already know what happens next. But everyone can't help but remember the time when they got an info about Issei or Vali was being attacked red. Attacked yeah right making them sweat drops from the aftermath especially about Vali. Small flashback start. Scene showing when the Gremory and Citri group was about to head to assist Issei and Vali they see large pillar of gold and silver lightning they used to see Issei use during the invasion burst out to the sky. While on another part of the town where Vali was currently at showing countless amount of fireworks red. People suddenly start to continuously blasting off towards the sky before exploding. Mini flashback end. But nearly everyone can't help but turn to Vali who giving a poker face. Iku. Bruh dude did other you have to turn those poor saps into a freaking fireworks out of all things. Ali. No comment besides it's other me not me. Arachiel. Still let out an impressed whistle seems other is a managed to learn a new spell from that book. Azizel. Yep look how huge it is I bet unless I use my armor I would be heavily injured if I get hit with that nah scratch that I would instantly get knocked out from that. But many nodding in agreement with Azizel's statement. Issei. Man I got lots to catch up Hugrin excited while pointing his fist at the screen. Genshiru. Despite how sigoing Vali San is that was pretty brutal of him by turning all of them into a fireworks with everyone nodding in agreement with him. Subaki. Anyway speaking about both of them they both together with Razor Sama and Sererg Sama surely have become popular with the rest of the students. But everyone chuckle hearing that. Aruko. Yeah, everyone been trying to ask Sensei to give them an autograph. Ira. It is, never thought that I would see Issei Sensei being overwhelmed like that, with everyone chuckle remembering the day after the sports festivals, literally nearly every student's already waiting at the school gate asking him for autograph, with some teachers especially the female ones also joining in. There is. Not to mention brother too. Rubbing her forehead from headaches remembering the time when Serzich keep asking her to ask Issei if their band was in need of songwriter. Well Serzich can't help but chuckle sheepishly knowing he would do the same like his other self with everyone else chuckling hearing that. Sona. Even one Isama too remembering Serafal accidentally uploaded the video of the concert on the Underworld, making the band gains a lot of popularity, especially from the young heiress and the young children's from Devil Houses. Akeno. Sweat drops yeah and from what I found out they also gained popularity on Grigori's side too after Azazel told us that he showed the video on Grigori headquarters. Another scene showing many female fallen angels are fangirling to the bands, especially towards Issei and Vali, and a certain two people gasp after see Issei and Vali in the video. Well the same two people also wondering why their other self gasp like that after seeing the video while other people that know them are also curious about it but decided to wait and see. Azizel. Well, seems like you also become popular too ha huh, kid, albeit in different way, with Vali together with Razor and Sererg too from the unexpected debut. Issei. It is, instead of. Glance at Drake whose face was warning him not to say at the show we have they got a band instead. Udo. Yeah who knows what else would happen in the future, maybe they do a different kinds of show too or not. Julio. And from my observation they just do the concert for fun only. Griselda. You might be right, considering from what we've seen so far, Issei San and Bali San, especially Issei San, have no intention to become famous thinking will you good thing I don't slip up this time with her shyly glance at Issei who was oblivious to her gaze. Omenhold. Muttering remembering how she previously acted I really hope that my other self wouldn't do anything stupid or act arrogantly like a brat to make Issei Khan hate me. Sekvera. Patting her shoulder to reassure her after heard her muttering well, I'm sure it would works out for now we just have to wait and see. But the hold nodding hoping it really was the case. Well Gabriel together with Penemu also was thinking on how to approach Issei who was oblivious to their gaze, while also wondering how their other self relationship with other Issei would be like. Pineko. Still press when we will visit Sensei. Rias. 
Hmm. Dot, dot, I also been thinking about it. Maybe we can visit him after he and Vali San are back from their trip. And honestly, kind of weird that we haven't once tried to visit him. Yet, scratch her head in wonder. Skeeth let out a nervous cough. Both both and Corbinic was shaking their head, amused, seeing Skeeth was coughing, knowing what it was about. Genshiru. Honestly I was kinda curious where they always go on their trip, but guessing it wasn't my place to meddle with their privacies. Momo. You're right Jen Kun it might be a private business of theirs for sure. Arena. Honestly I can't wait to visit Issei Chan again, not to mention to hang around with Asia Chan. Honestly I regret being harsh with her when we first met back then feeling down feeling ashamed on how she acts towards Asia back then. Zenovia. Yeah same with me she was a kind soul to forgive us, despite our harsh words towards her back then, together with Irina, let out a regretful sigh. There he is. Pat the shoulder of them both well at least you both apologized to her, and Asia Chan also forgave you both look at the night sky, while thinking I wonder what Issei Kun are doing right now. But Riaz can't help but let out a small mutter after hearing her other self thoughts. There he is. Good luck other me. Don't make the same mistakes like me I I wish you luck shed a stray tear out of a corner of her eyes before wiping it and secretly glance lovingly at Issei, wishing him happiness with him was oblivious of her gaze, but her family pat her shoulder knowing her thoughts. Scene change in a certain world camp area. Scene showing Issei, Drag and Albion, was discussing their plan on their hunt, while Vali was cooking some steak at the side of the camp, with four of them currently are using dual blades and armor of Nargakuta set. While many of the X cast start grinning feeling excited seeing that the four of them was in that world again, and wondering what kind of monster they gonna hunt this time. They say. Oh man I've been waiting for this. Greg. Ha same with me. Albion. Now I wonder what they are gonna hunt right now scratching his chin in wonder. Ali. Okay the hell is my other self doing why he doesn't join them discussing the plan. Great Red. Dunno. Probably hungry I think by the way the steak he currently was cooking looks tasty I gotta admit licking his lips feeling hungry. But most of X cast that was drooling after seeing the steak nodding in agreement with Great Red. They say. Alright guys I don't know who the hell is this Scarlet Mystery Man is as the quest giver to make this quest but probably some sadist bastard, making us and other hunters to hunt for, bucking King Shakalaka in one bucking small arena out of all places. I twitching, be either. Oh ho that quest hub in a quite a while since I attempted that with him, but the rest of Xcast turned to where the voice came from and see either Shiru Peter Ritsuka Olga and Romani following Skeeth joining them on this viewing, they say. Either send everyone when did you all come, Shiru. Let out a smirk just now me Peter and Ritsuka just finished our weapon training for today with him using his thumb pointing at either, and after small lunch we got nothing to do, Peter. So we decided to visit all of you Mr. Skeeth noticed that we was just outside and greeted us to come in and join the viewing, Ritsuka. Chuckle imagine our surprise that the viewing are showing their adventure in that world guess, it was our lucky day coming here to learn more about that world, Olga. From what we overheard when coming in. Their hunting King Shakalaka was it with Xcast nodding in agreement while secretly grinning seeing that both her and Ritsuka finally became a couple seeing how both of them are holding hands together, most of Xcast. Thinking while also secretly doing a victory fist pump oh yeah the ship has sailed, Romani. The King Shakalaka they're hunting must be a pretty tough opponent to make four of them acting that way. All those that know about King Shakalaka hold back a shiver remembering how hard King Shakalaka hit from Skeeth and Corbinic description back then, Ali. Anyway I agree with what Haidu other self said, whoever made that quest was a damn sadist. But everyone can't help but nodding in agreement before continue watching the viewing with the new addition, also taking their own seats too. But either was in deep thought thinking in his seat, be either. Just who is the Scarlet Mystery Man the guild been searching for that person for a long time, but to no avail my guess he's a Wivirian, nah scratch that, thinking too much wasn't good for my health. While well, Shiru Peter and Son others noticed that either was in deep thought but decided it wasn't their place to pry. Greg. Nah who cares about that what we know about this quest is that this can help us to prepare for the atmosphere in Master Rank quest, seeing that we have to be in alert when fighting against four of King Shakalaka, Albion. Drag is right, considering what monsters we have to hunt for our promotion quest to Master Rank, dangerous or not, this quest is necessary to temper us against what to come in the future, I say. Hmm. You're right turn to Vali oi Vali come join us here we gonna make a plan for this quest, Vali. Shouting back without turning while still busy grilling his steak don't worry I can hear you guys from here just fine go on. But both Issei and Albion caressing their forehead from headaches with volley antics while Drag was chuckling from amusement. Narrator. With deadpan voice I bet he gonna get engrossed with grilling to hear for sure. Ollie. Covering his face with his hand while muttering why other me dot dot just why. But others can't help but give Vali a look of pity. While either was chuckling amused remembering the antics of Vali he knows when hunting with him together with others. Issei. Erg, whatever, anyway we're hunting four King Shakalakas this time, hunting even one already given us enough trouble in the past, let alone hunting four. Greg. 
Oh that's right if I remember it right Bali needed some materials from Shakalakas and King Shakalakas for his new paralysis, dual swords he's planning to make, I say. Oh I see, anyway this quest was like killing two birds with one stone, seeing that we can gather materials for Vali, or even us two a paralysis type weapon would be helpful in the future, Albion. Yep a status effect type of attacks has proven useful many times, guess I also can craft some weapons too, after collect enough materials from this quest with Issei, and Drake was in deep thought a bit before nodding in agreement planning to do the same too, Azazel. Yep a status effect type of attacks has proven useful many times, despite how annoying it is, either. Nodding it is, some people might call it cowardly using status effect for attacks but, only an idiot would think so you have to use everything you got to survive, especially in that world, trust me I speak from experience, with everyone else nodding in agreement with either words especially Shiru who has no qualms of using any methods in the past during his time as hero of justice, making him frown a bit with both Ritsuka and Peter, noticed it and put their hand on both of his shoulders, making him smile in appreciation, Skeeth. Notice their interaction that's what we call peak bromance anyone agree. Second that, Corbinic. Third that, Issei. Alright, here's the plan, I'll go in first giving them a shout catching their attention before throwing a flash bomb before they can react stunning them, that's where Drake comes next he gonna throw a smoke bomb to camouflage all of us confusing them further, during their confusion we gotta move fast inflicting as much damage as possible then after all the smoke disperse one of us will throw another flash bomb, then another one of us will throw another smoke bomb this tactic would probably work two or three times at most, before the target of our hunt will get used to it, rendering it useless and seeing that we're using the Nargakuga set effects to give all of us an extra advantage to deal as much damage as possible, and advantages of moving around fast I think we should probably probably manage take down 2 out of 4 of the King Shakalaka 3, if we're lucky then we gotta finish the other 2 or 1 of the King Shakalaka that was left after that we gotta do this fast before the King Shakalakas call other Shakalakas or we'll be in a big trouble if that happens Sue. I think that this was a pretty good plan, how's your opinion, Drag, Albion, Armani? That was good enough plan they also considered that the same plan wouldn't work many times too, Olga. It is, considering that everything could happen in any moment, doing the same thing at least two times should suffice. Meanwhile while in the middle of explaining the plan Vali who just finished eating his food, go towards other side of the camp, checking his equipment completely missing out the rest of the details of the plan. While Vali start to feel a foreboding feeling seeing what his other self just did, Greg. Pretty good plan I'd say, speaking of hey Albion how's your opinion about this plan, Albion. Ugim Isek brought out a board writing on it to calculate something I'm coming up with 32.3, 3 up percentage of success I gotta say yeah that's it for sure totally is, Azazel. Good enough percentage of success for me sure we never know how it's like when fighting against the Shakalakas or King Shakalaka but, seeing that they make an elaborate plan like that and still got at least that amount of percentage, those King Shakalaka must be tough nut to crack, either. Oh it is, never underestimate those things, what I can describe when hunting them is chaotic for sure hold back a shiver remembering his first experience against Shakalakas, Skeeth. Yep, totally chaotic. Bali. Okay dot dot I just hope that my other self is not gonna do anything stupid to ruin the hunt. Well Skeeth and Corbinic shaking their head feeling pity towards Bali knowing what gonna happen next, I say. Hmm considering that we were hunting four of them, that's better than I thought hey Bali do you hear tha, Bali. Alright chumps time's up let's do this Larooooojeenkeeens proceeds to run towards the next area, while brandishing his dual blades out like a madman, but this say, Drake and Albion was stunned speechless with their mouth gaping for a while, after seeing the ridiculous stunt Vali just pulled, while everyone except Skeeth and Corbinic who was holding back their laugh was in the same state as Issei, Drake and Albion on the screen, before the silence is broken by Vali, Vali. Okay what the buck other me? Iku. Holy shit other you are a riot dude I still widens from shock. All the childish ones can't help but laughing from amusement after seeing what just happened, I say. Brought his hand up still laughing a petition to make that if we play any videogames with Vali, someone needs to keep an eye towards Vali, in case he does the same thing too. But nearly everyone from Xcast brought their hands up in agreement with Issei suggestion, Vali. Oh come on see Albion also brought his hand up, to not you too Albion. Albion. Sorry Vali, I'm not gonna take any chances in case we play any videogames in the future hold back a snicker, but Vali felt like he got sucker punched right in the gut before start sulking in the corner of the room, with both Azazel and Lavinia patting his back to console him and after cheer up Vali go back to his seat to continue watching the viewing, either. Well watch closely everyone this gonna be chaotic still chuckling holding back his laugh, no wonder those four don't want to tell me about their experience doing that quest now this I gotta see lean forward while grinning, while Ritsuka and others can't help but sweat drops after seeing either eager face, Ritsuka. Either San really was having fun huh? Armani. Yep, totally is. Issei. Oh my god dot dot he just ran in. 
Charge forward following volley. Albion. Save him charge forward following essay. Greg. For buck's sake stick to the plan stick to the plan charge and following essay and Albion. Essay. Let's go let's go let's go together with Drag and Albion unsheath their dual blades after drinking mega juice, knowing they will be in tough time. Scene change small arena. A scene showing a total chaos in the arena with four of them was like a storm of blades cutting through across the entire arena that was filled to the brim of shakalakas being led by King Shakalakas against four of them, with many wide in their eyes after seeing countless amount of shakalakas in the arena. They say. Holy buck. Sirzich. No wonder they say this quest was dangerous. Azazel. Just look at the amount of the shakalakas in that place. Ritsuka. So in the future before we advance to master rank dot dot we have to go through that. Gulping down saliva nervously. Shiru. I'm unable to count it clearly from here dot dot but it is easily more than 50 of those shakalakas I think holding back a shiver after imagine him being powerless while getting surrounded by horde of shakalakas. Peter. So. This is what happens if we don't manage to defeat some of the King Shakalaka in time sweating nervously and swearing to himself, if he ever encounter any kind of Shakalakas, he gonna defeat it as fast as possible, either. Welp, seems like those four didn't manage to defeat either one of the King Shakalaka before it call their underlings turn to others for everyone, information this quest even, though it wasn't classified as a master rank quest because of this possible situation that would occur if those who attempted failed to defeat some of the King Shakalaka in time so the guild deemed this quest as master rank quest in disguise. They say. Damn it Bali did you have to ruin the plan you idiot. Bali. It's not my fault. Albion. Yes it's your fault you moron. Greg. Why do you have to do this shit Bali? Get stabbed in the back by some of the shakalakas paralyzing him, damn it I can't move help help. Albion. I'm coming Drake get hit by stray bombs from one of the shakalakas instantly putting him to sleep z z z z z z z z z z z z but both Issei and Volley widen their eyes seeing that both Albion and Drag was temporarily out, making both of them desperately cutting down every shakalakas coming to their way to protect both Drag and Albion, hoping that both of them will recover soon. Shiru. Damn that was pretty intense fight though. Ritsuka. Yeah, fighting such force in enclosed space already hard enough they also have to protect their downed comrades at the same time. After a while with both Drag and Albion finally recovered before joining the hunt. They say. No what? Buck this shit this plan already a bust notice several shakalakas tried to sneak on his back, making him do a roundhouse kick, kicking them away de. Drag. Bust or not random bullshit go. But Peter gasped upon hearing what other Drake just said making him remember his run in with a certain dude who was crazy enough to give Deadpool a run of his money. Albion. Go 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 go. But both Drag and Albion throw all their large barrel bombs at the incoming horde of shakalakas, with the bombs detonating upon impact, killing most of the shakalakas with Issei and Vali also join throwing all their large barrel bombs, making a continuous bout of explosion. Issei. Here's little bit of science all of you little bastards. But all four of them proceeds to throw a bunch of dung bombs before throwing out their supply of mega barrel bombs at the ongoing explosion, triggering a much more larger explosion covering the entire arena, making four of them was knocked back to the wall of the arena from the shock waves of explosion, that killing off all the shakalakas, leaving only the four king shakalaka that was in their last legs from being in the center of the explosions. How cow. Widen his eyes in shock freaking hell, those damn things was sturdy as buck. How key. Even being bombarded with that amount of explosions, those things can still stand. Shigure. I'm scared those things are scary. Say. Me too. Thobio. Guess the phrase good quality things come in small package rings true after all. Suzaku. Totally is Tobio-kun. While catching their breath they noticed that all four King Shakalakas were shaking before they started dancing, making their hats start burning, before continuously spouting countless amounts of small ball of flames, which surprisingly makes a large explosion upon impact. All four. Oh shit run. They say. No way I'm gonna get hit with that last time was enough. Bali. Nope 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 just bucking nope running all over the place evading the ball of flames. Albion. Unfortunately get hit by one of the ball of flames right on his ass which start burning, making him rolling on the ground to put out the flames while yelling out in pain you. While most of the audience can't help but win seeing that especially Albion who cover his own ass feeling phantom pain making him felt pity for his other self. Greg. Medicking coming use life powder to recover everyone from the damage they have sustained during the course of the hunt. But four of them noticed that the King Shakalaka stopped dancing and fell to their back out of exhaustion. Ali. Here's our chance let's get em. Greg. I've been waiting for this. Albion. Alright let's kick some ass. Issei. Let's go for an all out attack. Issei. Alright go for it other me. Ali. Finish em. Greg. It's do or die. Albion. 
don't you disappoint me other me. All the rest of the audience are cheering for our four hunters to finish the hunt. The four of them rush towards the downed four King Shakalakas that let out terrified Shriek after noticed their impending doom, making a large dust cloud covering the entire arena for a while before it settles down, showing a save volley Drag and Albion on their knees, using their weapon as support while gasping for breath, feeling exhausted, while all the King Shakalaka are lying on the ground, defeated, Issei. Bucking finally. Drag. Those things are bullshit. Albion. To fight my ass is still sore from that hit just now. Caressing his sore ass. Ollie. Slowly getting up taking off his head armor to wipe his sweat Ryui, nearly failed this quest good thing we win right guys. But let's say, Drag and Albion twitch uncontrollably before glaring at Bali after hearing what Bali just said. Narrator. Oh boy the idiot just dig his own grave am I right? Bali. You're right narrator send you deserve what to come after this other me. They say. Yeah he did. Either. Chuckle guess that's why they refused to speak about their experience when doing that mission well I can't blame them it was embarrassing experience to see. They say. Get that bucker. Drag on it, but both of them do a shoulder tackle to unsuspecting Volley back making him fall to the ground before start stomping at him, making him yell out in pain. Volley. Erg. Issei. Nearly failed. Try to remember who screwed up big time you idiot. Greg. Because of you I got beaten out the shit out of me from those four King Shakalaka at the same time carting me not just one but two times you bucker. Volley. Ow 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 I'm sorry okay glance at Albion Albion a little help here. Gasp in horror upon noticing what Albion currently are doing. Scene showing Albion who is currently consuming a Mega Juice Might Seed Might Pill Demon Powder Demondrig and lastly Mega Demondrig, before equipping Power Charm and Power Dalon respectively, before flashing a demonic grin at Vali. Narrator. Speak with deadpan voice, and it was this moment he knew he bucked up. Scene showing Issei, Drag and Albion start kicking stomping and beating the shit out of Vali. Despite being beaten the shit out of him Vali can't help but let out one last quip. Vali. At I least I have chicken. Issei Drag Albion. Buck your chicken continue beating the shit out of Volley. Scream close. But Skeeth and Corbinic getting up before patting Volley's shoulder. Skeeth. My condolences for that. Volley. Let out a long sigh I. Don't know what to say. Turn to those that joined them on the viewing well, seeing that several next viewings would be showing their adventure in that world, would all of you be interested to stay for some time to continue watching together with them? Gesturing to Xcast. Ritsuka. Oh we sure will no way we're gonna let this chance pass grin excitedly. Olga. Same with me no way I would pass the chance learning more about monsters in another world. Armani. You heard her honestly learning more about biology and ecology of beings from another world was interesting for me. Peter. Raise an eyebrows wait how about Miss I? Wouldn't your girlfriend be upset if you stay here and not together with her? Armani. Oh she was together hanging out with Mavis Ann and others for vacation. Peter. I see. Shiru. Well, thanks for having me, besides turn to say I'm curious to see how far you have progressed kid. Either. Now that you mention it I also curious how far you have progressed on cooking Issei. Issei. Bump his fist together excitedly, I sure did let me show you all I got Shiru San either San. But both Shiru and either chuckle amused seeing Issei optimism. Horbanik. Speaking of turn to Shiva and other Hindu gods that curiously enough was shaking in their seat, I know what all of you are doing Su so snap his fingers making a disco ball appear on the ceiling with Shakala theme, start playing across the entire room go wild. Shiva. Buck yeah finally start dancing and pull out some sick moves. Vishnu. I finally found the song of my calling also start dancing too. Rama. This song is the peak dancing excitedly ignoring everyone's stare. Indra. Out of character or not I don't bucking care let's do this shit Shiva grin. Fiercely start having a dance off against Shiva who grin fiercely back at him. Great red. A dance off eh? Count me in. Greg. Don't forget about me too. Albion. Let's buck and guo. But the three of them also start dancing too, and pulled out a completely sickest move for everyone to see. Except Skeeth and Corbinic, everyone else was completely startled seeing that before some decided to join dancing too having fun together. While in their seat watching the people who were having a dance off Skeeth, and Corbinic was talking through a portal showing the readers. Skeeth. Welp, sorry if I'm a little late, I planned to write and finish this chapter before the last Sunday ago but, I got a major burnout, making me tired, despite having tons of inspirations and ideas that keep coming in, I'm sorry everyone let out a sigh. Oh come on, don't put yourself down for that I keep telling you to take a break many times right if you feel tired wasn't it? Skeeth. Let out another sigh before turning towards Incorbinic but. It's torturing you know, having these ideas circulating in my head and not writing it was pure hell. Pretty sure other authors out there would agree with me. Corbinic. Now that you have finished writing this chapter go take a rest okay? Skeeth. Yeah you're right turn back towards the portal anyway. I hope everyone enjoyed this chapter and don't forget to take care of everyone's own health. Here's some pictures for everyone to enjoy throw several pictures for everyone to enjoy before closing the portal while thinking hmm dot dot I wonder what Tsukasa are doing right now.
Let me know in the comments below if you guys want the next part. Also check out my other video that has been shown and left. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video please like and share this video. And have a fantastic day. Bye.